Ed and I first met when we started White Lodge together at the age of 11 and I remember right from the very beginning he had this incredible work ethic and self-discipline that's never changed. He's known as this wonderfully dramatic and charismatic artist with this unique physicality and of course he's all those things but it's his warmth and humour that make working alongside Ed throughout his entire career so special and to those of us who know him well, he's very loyal and supportive and incredibly funny, and that's why we love him so much. Dear Ed, what a truly splendid career you have had, and, and I know there's more to come. When I think back to your beginnings, and now, at this time, all the achievements that you've made, how thrilled and proud you must be, and I certainly am, of you. I wish you every possible success in the future and I know it's going to be a really fascinating one for you. I wish you well, I send you much love, a big hug, take care and be wonderful Ed. Ed Watson has always been at the cutting edge, not just of the ballet, but of the theatre much more widely. I can think of few stars of the London stage who can equal him, either in the intensity of his performances or in the authority and electricity he brings to everything he does. He's one of those rare, mysterious performers who demands your attention and then won't let it go. What's so fascinating about Edward Watson is that he has a multitude of characters that lie within him. And no matter how alien the character might be, he's always able to find the human being. And ultimately, this is his connection to the audience, which is so touching and fascinating and powerful. Ed, after 20 years of working together, I know how special you are. After all, we've been through so much together. We fell madly in love. You made me die of a broken heart. We've twisted ourselves into pretzels and we've played with guns, knives, skulls. And there was that heroin addiction that really didn't end well. But Ed, with you, I loved every single moment. You have lit up this stage uniquely with originality and passion. And Ed, all I can say, hang up the jock strap, pop the Pringles, and catch up on Netflix. I love you, Ed. I have to thank you so much for all your generosity and all the hard work you have always put into your classes and your discipline has been so inspiring. Um, the way that you have coached me and have taught me that I'm not bound to my physical self has been incredible. Your career was visceral, spectacular, and I cannot wait to see what you're going to do in your next step as a repetitor. We are very, very lucky. I've had the great fortune of working with Edward many times over the years. And this is the most wonderful opportunity to be able to say, Ed, thank you so much for your brilliant artistry, for your collaborative spirit, for your wit, um, and perhaps most of all, for leaving us with these guys. Ed, how do I put into a few words all of the things that you mean to me and mean to the Royal Ballet? You are a phenomenal artist, an incredible, creative, open-minded dancer who's there always in the service of the work. Um, it's been such a pleasure creating Dante for you. Um, you have never worried about being the star attraction or being within a group. You have just gone 
and done your best and used your talent so passionately and brilliantly. I know you're not going to retire. I know this is not the end. I know this is the beginning of a whole new chapter. And I wish you all the luck in the world. And I hope that we, I am going to be part of that adventure moving forwards. We love you, Ed. Ed, it's been an honour and a privilege to work with you all these years and to see you bring life to so many characters on this very stage. You are not only one of the great dance actors of your generation, you are a great dance actor in the history of the Royal Ballet. We salute you and thank you.